Hola a todos, it's Lacey from Our Life in Guanajuato, Mexico. So as many of you know, we don't have our own well here on the homestead and we do go and pick up water with Pa's truck and a big jug at a local well. Um, but we also get water another way. We have big water trucks that come and fill up all of our water containers and our water, our underground water cisterna. So we have one here filling up because we've been doing a lot of construction and we've been going through a lot of water that we have in our containers out here. And so that's just another way how we get water out here on the homestead in our mountain village in Guanajuato, Mexico. We also have a lot of little projects going on that I didn't want to do like one video for each project because they're pretty small. But many of you know that we have our pantry here that's attached to our kitchen. Um, we, we recently just received our door. We had wood doors, solid wood pine doors, custom made. That I'm pretty happy about. <laughs> and then my disaster of a pantry. I'm so embarrassed. I didn't even want to put that on camera. Um, we've been living here for about seven months and literally just been putting all of our groceries and food in here uh, to keep it safe and to keep it cool because obviously we're in hot season. So that's another project that we have been working on recently. Excuse me, huh? I'm going to shut the door for a minute. So we have our construction workers um, coming in and putting in a cement table or a shelf on this side of the pantry. And we have an electrical outlet um, for here because this is where we're going to be putting our egg incubator, probably um, some kitchen um, appliances, small kitchen appliances will stay in here as well. So that's the whole purpose of this. They use block. Um, everything is cement and block and brick here. So he used block to make um, like the legs of the counter or the table. And then he put a wood frame here. And then he has the rebar that he put together piece by piece that's gonna hold the cement in. Um, right now he went on his lunch break but he's going to come back and this project will be done in one day with just um, one guy. So I'm really excited to finally start working in the pantry and um, getting this organized. Also up here, I'm going to start um, with shelves that are going to go up here and we're going to have a couple shelves to put like soup pots and stuff like that on this side of the pantry. And then we'll move along to this side of the pantry. We're gonna have shelves all along this wall for all of our canning goods and along this wall and this wall as well. And do you wanna say hello to everybody on YouTube? My broody chicken that won't get out of the pantry. <laughs> I hope you could see that. I wasn't looking too good, but she will not leave my pantry unless I make her. And another project that we have, and we've been working here on the house, um, as many of you know, this used to be Pa's like man closet. Um, he had all of his stuff hanging on the walls over here, uh, all of his tools, all of his construction supplies, um, and all that good stuff. Well, we finally had it taken out, and we had our stairs installed, cement stairs. And they did the same thing with the cement stairs as what they did with the pantry and the shelf. They built it with the rebar and put in a bunch of wood framing and then just filled it in with cement and rock. Um, and they just got this done yesterday. They just took the all of the wood off, the frame wood off. Except for back here, they still have this frame wood supporting it. I guess this has to stay here for two weeks just to make sure that um, the cement is completely dry. But back here, if you can see the plumbing, we're going to have a half a bathroom, a toilet, and a sink to wash hands underneath here. So that's the plan for under the stairs. And then on this side of the stairs, we're gonna have a closet 
for storage. So just a lot of little things going on around here that I wanted to update everybody about. I know everybody, um, a lot of people are really excited about the construction. A lot of people are building their own homes here in Guanajuato, not in Guanajuato, in Mexico. <laughs> Perdón. And uh, so that's what we have going on here. We love to answer questions. If anybody has any questions about construction here in Mexico, please don't forget to put that in the comments down below. Um, our tin roof is going to come off soon. And then we're going to put a room upstairs that's just as big as that to close it all in. And then when you walk up the stairs, there'll be a door. And right now we need access to upstairs because our hot water heater is up there. We have a water cisterna up there. And long time in the future, we're going to have a second floor um, with bedrooms and a small kitchen up there as well. So those are just some little things that we have going on around here that I wanted to share. We did finish sealing the bathroom floor. There was a little bit of trouble with that. As you can tell right here, we didn't notice until after we applied the seal that um, some of the construction workers spilt cement on these tiles and tried to scrape it off. Well, you can't do that with clay terracotta tiles or saltilla tiles because um, the top layer is like um, crusty bread on the outside. And then if you pick that off because you're trying to clean it, that inside is all the soft material. So we are going to have to replace a couple of these tiles. Sorry for the toilet. <laughs> um, and then Pa installed our nozzles and we have our shower. So it's in full working order right now. We just need to seal the wall. Um, first we need to do an acid wash and then we're gonna seal it and seal the shower. And then it'll be almost completely done. We just have a temporary shower curtain for now. I'd really like something that would match the yellow or the green in the tile for a shower curtain. But uh, yeah, that's just some updates that we have going on around the house. The kiddos are doing their schoolwork and Pa and I are getting ready to go and buy some seal for the roof. Um, we need to seal that in better than we did last season because rain season is coming and um, we did get a couple water spots where the seal didn't quite seal properly on our cement roof. So we're going to go pick that up today so that we can get that done before rain season comes. We're in a big rush right now to get as much as we can done for rain season. I have a feeling rain season is going to be... Um, really heavy this year and last year we were really grateful that it wasn't so um, we're definitely not prepared we need to get prepared with that so that's just some things that are happening around here if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and look forward to more videos about the construction of the house and our life here in Guanajuato um, gracias todos we'll catch you on the next one adios